Emma from Play to Learn Preschool. Thank you for joining us. It's been a long time, sorry. We took a little break and it wasn't intentional or we would have told you that we were taking a little break, but Gem and I have between us six kids. Um, she has two and I balance that with the four. <laughs> and between our six kids, we've had kids homesick after preschool. Kids calling just before we're about to go online, so you have to come pick me up from school, I don't feel good. Yeah, hi you guys. So I apologize, we just we just sort of got just a little had, crazy. It had to work out for us. And then Jamie went to do some training. Well, I wasn't gonna do it by myself. You could totally I could, totally could. People would wouldn't. like it if you did it by yourself, and I'm so. tired of me. I don't know. So I was in Texas on Tuesday. Hi Texas people! Um, for like a super quick 18 hours to do uh, training sessions, four training sessions with the Austin teachers in Austin. Hi, you guys. And so I flew out Monday, so that was a little crazy. And we were closed for snow. Yeah, we've had some, it's not it's real been snow. Crazy. It's like it's not so icy stuff. They keep closing the school. Hi. We're back. Now, I'm, tomorrow, I have to say, I'm tomorrow doing, we won't be here. Tomorrow I'm doing another training. It's just been a little bit, it's like a hectic season for us. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a training here locally, but it's right after our preschoolers leave. So hey, Sterling teachers, I'll be there tomorrow. And then on Monday we <laughs> may not be able to work it out either because we have a that's the a other family part. coming. We've had tours, people coming to sign yes. up for the new school year. It's registration season for preschool around here, so people are so we're you know, trying. Our we're best. doing our best, people. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in with us. Um, we were laughing. We were laughing. Uh, chuckling. We feel like we've lost a little mojo with the yeah. Facebook videos. We so, both go get ready to go on Facebook and we stand there and both of us wander around the room going, uh, uh, I forget how we do this. What are we doing? So if you're here, let us know. Um, we need we need you guys, you know, to kind of chime in and help us get through this uh, first one back. Thanks, Pam. Yeah. Okay, hopefully we haven't lost too much mojo. We are doing a new unit in February. And we're excited because we have we almost have the circle and um, circle time and centers ready to upload for you. So I'm the worst procrastinator that you've ever met. I am. She's not. And I've been supposed to have been working on this been for a long it really time. Hard. And I keep thinking, oh, I'll do that part tomorrow. I'll do that part tomorrow. Oh. It's gonna end up like yeah. my nursery rhymes a year later. Anyway, we're trying really hard to get some new content up for you guys. Anyway, we're doing our best. Thank you for, for sticking with us. In February. We are teaching our students about oceans and beaches and fish. We stay away from the Valentine's thing. We do a little bit, kind of. A little bit, just for really. a couple days. It's not a whole month. Um, we are going to share with you today the book that we like to use to introduce this unit to our students. And then we have a couple of little activities that we use to follow up with them. So here goes nothing. We've been missed. You guys are so sweet. Thank We're you. We've missed, you. missed too. it too. It's just, I know everybody knows, but you know how your life just kind of ebbs and flows in terms of having extra time and and running around like a crazy person and we've just been sort of in the running crazy, around like no, crazy we've been people. In the crazy, crazy, yeah, we've been for a couple of weeks. Crazy people. Yeah. Okay. And luckily everyone's back to school and not being sick. All of our kids are at school today, which is the first and time in three home. weeks, right? Between snow mm -hmm. and sick, this is the first time in three weeks yeah. that all six of our kids are at school. Oh, here it goes. The book that we like to use to introduce the ocean unit is this adorable book called 10 Friendly Fish. It's by Debbie um, Tarbett. We know it's backwards. We know it's backwards, but it's going to be better when we're back here, so we're not bumping into each other. And I'm going to read this to you. Gemma's going to demonstrate an activity that we do with it. If you do not have this book, I put a couple of alternatives in the video description. There's also a book called 10 Little Fish by Audrey and Don Wood, which is adorable. So we have a story about this book. We both believe that I mean, it's, it's in here. We cannot store. find it. We can't find it anywhere. We've looked. Picture me holding it up. It's a great place. book. It's so here in our school. Of, um, we're wondering if we maybe threw it away because it was Wouldn't really damaged, it. though. Yeah, because like, it, it was a lot. really damaged. So we're wondering if we threw it away with an intention to buy a new one and make it fall. Because we do that. We do do that sometimes. We also love this one by Leah Leone, which is called Fish is Fish An Adorable Introduction to Fish in the Ocean. Um, but the one I'm going to read to you is 10 Friendly Fish, and Gemma's going to demonstrate how we do it with our kids with these adorable finger puppets. Um, so they are finger puppets. How cute are these? And they're also felt board pieces, which is the thing that we love about all of our art felt stuff, is that they can duplicate, you know, they can either be finger puppets that our students use, or we can stick them on the felt board. 
So when we read this story, we like to do it on the felt board. All right, we're gonna try this. Let's see if this works. So how are we gonna do this? first, we're gonna count how many fish are on the board. Okay, boys and girls, let's see how many fish are on the board. Ready? Okay, you ready? Here it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten friendly fish. Okay. And I know it's gonna be backwards, but if we flip it around and then Gemma and I are trying to reach for the board, it will, it will be not bad. be good. It will be bad. It says, ten friendly fish on a swim one day. One sees a starfish and goes off to play. Nine happy fish like to splash and splish. One goes to visit a yellow puffer fish. I would have taken it that way, but Jamie's in the way. Eight tiny fish bobbing high and low. One spots a red crab and goes to say hello. Hello, crab. Seven jolly fish diving in the deep. One joins the dolphins as they jump and splash and leap. You Are could you also let the kids pull them off. No, I love the way you're doing that, Miss Gemma. Six smiley fish zooming past a cave. One stops when octopus gives a wobbly wave. Five little fish gliding through the sea. One joins a whale as gentle as can be. And then of course we could count how many are left. Yeah. You could count as you go, but we don't want to do that you guys. We assume you can do that on your own. <laughs> Four lively fish playing near the ocean floor. One sees a shipwreck and goes off to explore. And the thing I love about this book is it starts to plant those seeds in the kids' heads about, oh, you can see a shipwreck in the ocean, or an octopus, or a whale, or a shark. Three cheeky fish swimming in a row. One meets some jellyfish, and off they go. Two cheery fish swimming on ahead. One stops to play in the pretty coral bed. And we can talk about what the coral is, and we have some coral on our board. Oh, that nicely done. One little fish, alone in the deep, wanders, wonders where her friends have gone and goes to take a peek. Ten friendly fish, happy as can be, splash around together at their party in the sea. And so then we could count all the fish and put them back on. We don't have to do that. Okay. Well, then the next activity, they're not going to start. <laughs> anyway, we love that little book. We love these adorable rainbow fish from Art Belt. And it's really nice to give the kids a visual as you're reading so that they kind of have that anchor for what they're, you know, what they're doing and what they're understanding. We talked when I was in Austin about how it's different for kids just to sit and listen to a story than for them to actually have something to anchor their understanding so that they're comprehending what you're reading, right? Because we can teach our kids to just sit and smile and nod and listen. But what we want is for them to understand it. So it is a cute book, isn't it? Here's another activity with this felt board that we love to do, especially with our younger kids. It's a good counting and a color recognition activity. So um, there are actually 12 fish in that set. We pulled two of them out. So we're gonna, put, we're gonna start in here. I said what? I know, I, to, I felt like I had to finish the activity. So during, <laughs> during circle time, um, separate from story time, we could read, um, we could do this cute little activity. So it's a color identification activity. So it starts like this. I might say, I'll start with my favorite. Purple fish, purple fish. What do you see? Is that right? Brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? Woo! We have lost some mojo. Purple fish, purple fish. What do you see? Reach in there. I <laughs> I see a, a green fish looking at me. And then all of the kids are going to say it together. Green, green fish, fish, green, green fish, fish, what do you see? And I let another kid pick a fish. Or Gemma again. I have so many times. I see a red fish looking at me. And all the kids say together. Red fish, fish red, red fish, fish, what do you see? And we get them all up there. So I see a brown fish looking at me and we get all the fish up there. And at the very end, so we'll pretend like we've gone through it. All the kids have had a turn. Make you guys listen to us saying that. It is a really catchy tune. Oh no, fish first, fish. All right, so for the last fish, we might say blue fish, blue fish, what do you see? And then we're gonna count them. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I see twelve fish swimming with me. And that's a really fun one then for them to put back and do on their own drink centers. Our kids love this today. And they can put them on their fingers, you know, while they're waiting for their they turn. Can act out even in the board, you can actually have them stand up. Super cute. Fish Super cute. So we're introducing this ocean unit um, with picture books and with these felt board activities to try to get them to start thinking about the ocean and the sea. Okay, we have one more little activity and it's at our light table. We're gonna share that. I'm gonna flip the camera around and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll try to answer them. Hi, you guys. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We moved the dice. <laughs> Gemma's off to see the dice. So at the, <laughs> I'll tell first. <laughs> at the light table today, we have printed 10 frames on some transparency paper. And I did a whole video about that, but if you buy transparency paper that matches your light, or matches your printer, then you can just run it through the printer. So if you have an inkjet printer, you're gonna buy the transparency that has um, for inkjet. And if you have a laser printer, you buy the transparencies for laser. If you don't have a printer, then you buy the write-on transparencies and you just trace it. I was carrying it around with me. <laughs> it was a bummer. It's bag. with your mojo. <laughs> Almost lost. And so this is a math light table activity. I need two dice. Just one. Yeah, we're gonna try to fill it up to ten. It's okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and roll the dice and then the kids are going to put these cute little transparent fish on the tense frame. And it's kind of a game between two kids to see who can get to 10 first. So then the kid on the other side is going to I roll to the dice. Yeah. Oh, it's a tie. Uh-oh, okay. And then the kids on the other side, so it's a little game, are going to fill in their tens frame, and it's the first person to 10 to... Perfect. Only one. Look at you with the pattern too, Miss Gemma. Oh, That's so smart. That was Super smart. But I'm gonna flip the, oh, the other person is doing really well, the ghost yeah. player. So, <laughs> so we had four and we're gonna put five more and that's gonna get us all the way up to nine. So we just need one more fish on that side to get the 10 frame filled. Oh, so catching up. Game. Not gonna mess up my plan. Catching up, catching up. So we've got five more. Anyway, they just play back and forth, the two kids to try to get to 10. So. Uh, that's are we going to do two or are you going to make them do exactly one? No. I wanted to flip the light table on real quick to show you how great the fish look on the <laughs> and the, the tens frames. Can you see that? How cool those are. It kind of almost looks like they're swimming in the water. Um, so that's one of another fish game that we put out with the book and the felt board. So. All right. Hi. A couple people are asking questions. So let me see. Ooh. So the, what's that? No, so the, um, the answers, I think, to most of your questions are in the video description. People are asking, where did I get the fish for the light table? Amazon, and the link is in the video description. Where did we get the adorable felt puppets for the fish? From wonderful Judy at Art Where we get all of our amazing felt stuff from Judy, like she said, at Art Felt. I left a link up there. Um, we actually just got, I just ordered like a ton of fish stuff for February and rainbow stuff for March and some insect stuff for April. I have filled my cart at Art Felt recently and the, the package came in last week. So Gemma and I've got a whole bunch of fun stuff to share with you. You should also uh, like that Facebook page. Oh yeah, I sh I'll link to it when we get off. They're super nice people. We met them uh, at the NACI conference not last year the year before. Hi guys. We love Art Felt. And they're not paying us today. We just truly really love we their stuff. Love their stuff. <laughs> we just buy it and use it and love it and want to share it with you guys. So anyway. Um, the dice game is a math game at the light table, just a little race to 10. It's a counting game, and then that 10 frame is really an interesting math tool because it's five squares on the top and five on the bottom. So it's this visual way for kids to start to picture what it looks like to get to 10. And the interesting thing when you're racing to 10 is if I have eight fish on my board, then mentally I'm already thinking, oh, I only need two more to fill it up. And so what those kids are doing is they're making groups of 10 in their heads. They're doing 10 minus eight equals two, or eight plus two equals 10. And so even our three and four year olds, it's like algebra, you know? She doesn't geek out about that kind of stuff like I do. <laughs> it's so 
cool. I mean, you're, this is very cool. When you play in a way that supports students thinking and learning like that, we're yeah, like building up their brains. It's awesome. Sonia. Because math is my least favorite subject. Yes. I'm Brianna, so here's the thing. She said, what packets are you working on? My, um, we're, we, we divide and conquered this time. I just uploaded the dental health packet a week ago. Um, I'm working on oceans. Gemma is finishing oceans, and I am like finished with nursery rhymes, ready to upload it. So we, I we just need to do a bit of two proof more reading. proofreading. <laughs> we have two more. The nursery rhyme unit is like gigantic. It's a, like a, it's a novel. It's like a novel. <laughs> it's got so much in it, and um, the ocean unit is going to be adorable too. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So we promise we're not just sitting around in the afternoon watching this as us. We're also trying to get some resources out for you guys. All right, thank you for sticking with us, um, even during our little uh, hiatus. <laughs> We're glad you're here, and we hope you have a great afternoon. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.